neighborhood community morning so first thing i want to say is we're gonna do a live about all my coloring stuff next sunday the 25th as long as it doesn't interfere with the, the walking, walking dead. dead because the walking dead is back on next sunday got this terry next sunday or this sunday next sunday the 25th so it's got to be early there than this. Well, you can record it. Yeah, I can record it. But I think <laughs> I'm going to do the live around 2 o'clock my time. It'll be about 5 Eastern Standard. Right. And it'll be 6 o'clock for Jonah. Is it? Yes, because he's four hours later than me. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, because when he goes live at 6, it's 2 o'clock for me. Hmm. So, um, so everybody mark your calendars for a live next Sunday, February 25th at 2 o'clock California time. Pacific Coast time. What is it? Pacific time. Pacific time. So, you guys need to figure out what time that is to you. <laughs> and when we go live... Everybody who comes in to the live, their name will be entered for a giveaway to win a coloring book. Oh, I thought you were going to give away Daryl. Heck no! Heck no! No, he goes nowhere. <laughs> he goes nowhere. All right. Give away Daryl. What are you, nuts? You got a fever or something? I think Kevin's sick today, guys. No. Your name will be entered to win a coloring book. Not a tiny little color book, but a thick coloring book. Okay. Okay? So everybody who comes to the live, their name will be entered to win a coloring book. Uh -huh. There you have it. So, what are you going to do today, darling? I'm um, probably going to start looking for stuff to sell around the house. And uh, beyond that, I'm not sure. You know, I, I'd like to start trying now so I could do it one piece at a time and see if I can try and get some real money out of it. Well, go ahead and sell, but there's of, certain things that I want to keep and it, take with us. I know. but Like uh, my antique couch, the haunted cabinet. Our bed <laughs> that I never sleep in. Uh huh. Because I'll just keep you awake all night. <laughs> I would. If I slept in there, you would not get any sleep. Well, you didn't get any sleep from me because I snore. Yeah, well, that's why I slept with my iPod on. I snore. I snore. I slept with my iPod and my earphones in when I slept in there because if I didn't, all I'd hear is. <laughs> That's Kevin. Okay. You don't believe me? I'm not going to say anything. I'll set up a camera and prove it to you. I have footage from when we were in Joshua Tree and we had the camera up on all night. It wasn't that bad. It's bad. <laughs> It's bad. <laughs> Especially when you you don't really sleep and you're exhausted and you really want to go to sleep and then all you hear is <sighs> Megan used to be able to hear you when we would sleep in our bedroom with our door closed and she would sleep in her bedroom across the hallway with her door closed she could hear you. Uh -huh. That's how bad it was. Okay. Say goodbye. Mr. Snorry McSnorer. <laughs> okay, another beautiful day in the neighborhood. At least my lawn looks somewhat decent. Mailman's out. It's in the mid-70s. Very comfortable. Today I want to do two things. See if I can get them done today. I still have the couch. I had uh, interest in it, but as usual, they always ask me to hold on to it. 
and in my experience with Craigslist and other things, this is actually on the um, let it go. They'll say, hold on to it for me, I'll, I'll get it tomorrow, and in the meantime, 12 other people will say they have cash in hand, and I'm holding on to it for somebody who then never shows up. So I told her if I still had it by 6 o'clock today, I'll let her know and she can get it tomorrow. And we'll see how that works out. Because it always works out that way. So you know, everybody wants it and I've, I've promised it to somebody who then never shows up. So today I want to fix this. This is a huge shop vac that has an issue with the um, hose. And um, I tried to find parts for it. I figured if I could buy, find uh, replacement parts, I could probably sell it, but uh, they don't make this anymore, and I cannot get replacement parts for it anymore, so I'm going to um, permanently attach the hoses and just use it here. All right, so here is my uh, uh, shop vac. It's got a lot of parts to it that come apart. That's a diverter which will divert the uh, air off to the side so it doesn't hit the uh, uh, filter. And then it has this thing that is removable and supposedly if you wanted a different size hose you could just put another one on. This is what can't be replaced and this is what's broken. It's broken actually on the inside of the uh, tank itself. It cannot be replaced. So I looked around to where I could put a, a couple of screws just to keep it on because it's, let's see, it just comes, falls right off. So I figured I could put a screw in on either side here and it's not going to interfere with my hose which just screws on. This is just the, the end of the hose. The hose actually goes inside here. So, got that set up. I'm gonna put a couple of screws on either side and it's gonna go through all of these parts. And so it'll make it permanent, which will, that'll make the vacuum workable, usable. But I would say that makes it uh, unsellable because it's been, you know, messed with so I'm not going to be able to sell it but uh, I'll use it around here now normally I would say I, I, I don't some, want something this big it, it's kind of hard to bring the jobs with me and in my garage I already have a dust collector system so it's I don't need one and I have my garage organized every inch of this garage is organized to hold something so I don't know quite where to put it at this point. So that's not coming off again. It looks a little weird with the screws off to the sides, but it does not interfere with my house. So it works pretty good. We do have a bit of a thing that I don't like about the hose. It's, um, it just kind of supposedly screws in, but it seems to be a little crushed, but it's staying in. Works fine. I can get into places that I can't get into with my big four inch um, vacuum that's on my uh, dust collector. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be very useful. I just need to find a place for it. Luckily, it has some s serious wheels on it, so it can be moved around. So this is where I'm going to store it for now. It's going to go under my table saw because that's where I have space for it. It's not too bad. It still leaves me places to do things. 
What are you doing? Making dinner. What's for dinner? Chicken. Yeah. Yeah. I like chicken. Me too. But do you know you're trying to kill me? I'm trying to kill you? Mm-hmm. How's that? Because if I walk through the kitchen to go to the bathroom and this is open like this, I have a very high risk of falling. There's people right here. But I usually go this way. But you don't have and to. And if this I'm way. like half asleep, uh -huh. I'm not gonna like think about going the other way. Sizzle, sizzle. see I just finished going live with Jonah and um, we're going to call it an evening. I am not feeling all that great. I have a really bad headache <coughs> and I'm in a lot of pain tonight. <coughs> so I'm going to take my meds early and try and sleep longer than three hours straight. I think that's the most I've gotten in one night is three hours straight and then it's broken sleep the rest of the night. <sighs> but I'm very tired. Right now. Are you? Yeah. So, hopefully I can sleep. So, um, I responded to all the comments today that I was behind on, so we'll be ready to do shout outs tomorrow. So make sure you guys check in for shout outs. And uh, that's about all I've done today. You have anything to add? Just did a little work in the garage, that's about it. Your dog wants in. He can wait. So, we're going to go ahead and call it an evening. If you enjoyed a little bit of something that you may have seen in our video today, please give us a favorite. Please give us a thumbs up. Please leave us a comment down below. Please share our video with your family and friends. Done yawning? Bye. Bye. I love you.